All right, so you guys know that I made a ton of videos on Filmora in the past, but something I wanted to showcase in this video are five different things that you can utilize into your own videos that you might not have known about or not known how to do in Filmora. This video is going to consist of five tricks. I'm going to have their timestamps down below at the bottom of the video. So if you want to skip ahead to any of them, go check that out. With all that being said, let's just get right into the tutorial. So the first trick I'm going to be showing you guys in Filmora that you might not have known is the built-in color grading feature of the software. So if you were to actually come up here to your top left corner and go to filters right by your media, pool you're actually given a ton of different options in terms of color grading that you could just literally drag on your clip this is the most useful thing definitely by far for me because something i struggle with when it comes to color grading on other editing softwares is you have to manually adjust it and it takes a ton of time but with this if i were to literally want to drag a filter on i could just drag it on if i want to just kind of compare between a bunch of them i can just do that um and yeah it's literally that simple to the point where you just drag it on and it takes a matter of seconds to just drag on completely now we can just add on like vintage style takes two seconds black and gold style super cool black and white if we want to there are just a ton of different options for us to use and the best part is it's all built into Filmora. you don't need plugins you don't need to download anything it's literally on the software right after you download the software itself um so that's definitely one of my favorite things that you actually can do inside of the software it's definitely super cool and we're also given a bunch of different categories here like you guys can see just depending on the theme of the video you would use you know a specific type of color grading or something along the lines of that um, there's a bunch of contrast options cool pop and if we come through here we you know we got creative options festival options so if we wanted to kind of like add a little bit of a tinge for example we got all these different horror ones um, it's just crazy the amount of different options you're given in Filmora. so that's actually tip number one or things you might not have known about and uh, yeah now second up I know a lot of people just don't even know about this feature in general when they download Filmora and that's actually the templates feature which is super insane we're given all of these different options here for for like intro templates, outro templates, uh, logo reveals, all that stuff. And people really don't know the amount of assets that come with Filmora itself. Now, if we were doing like a countdown video, we could literally drag this in over top of our clip. Now we can see Epic Countdown. This goes on literally the beginning of a clip, for example. So if we're doing like a countdown, we can see the intro right here, three, two, one. And then we go into the actual um, clip itself and we would just adjust the length of it. So if we wanted to count down into the intro, we could do that. Um, logo reveal reveal a youtube outro we can literally drag onto the end which is super cool i can let that download quickly and like i said built into the software a, a lot of softwares you can do outros and stuff like that but it takes a lot of time it's super tedious for you to download the intro off of youtube you know um and then you're editing constantly all the assets and all it takes is for us to literally double click on any of the text we can change it to what you want uh, i can literally make this joshy if i wanted to don't forget to like share and subscribe i can get rid of this if i want to just delete this for example uh, if we don't want that on the screen we're just given a ton of different customization options we literally would just save it um but yeah it's actually crazy the amount of options you're given for this and literally if you come down here you know we got intro cards um big title template cinematic openers and they're all categorized like the color corrections minimal cinematic opener um these are all youtube intros that you can do we got business intros logo reveals travel stuff news wedding love sports and fitness vlog promo advertising birthday family food amongst other options so there are literally Literally so many different options you could utilize for this and uh, that was literally me showing what two of them so there are just a ton so that is tip and trick number two that you might not have known about now tip number three or trick I should say is the AI music feature built into Filmora literally no one knows about this people ask me all the time how do you get songs for your videos now AI music is one of the best tools that Filmora has to offer for something like this this allows you to literally come up here to AI music it's under the audio tab we are able to pick the mood of the song so if we want to do something like laid back, um, we're able to add multiple. We can just add like a theme being, I don't even know, like um, gaming genre, making it kind of like an ambient. And literally all we need to do is click generate. Now, once we actually generate it, it will take a second and load up our laid back gaming ambient music. And this will just allow us to use it in the background, which is absolutely nuts. Um, so yeah, that's definitely a really cool feature. I'm going to let it do its thing for a second, uh, but we could see right here. There are a ton of different options of previously rendered ones that I've done, for example. So, you know, we got like a tutorial lo-fi hip hop. I'm going to download it, let it do its thing real quick. And then we're able to just drag it into the project. It's a minute 32, completely AI generated. So you don't have to worry about someone else using it, for example. Um, so we just drag that in like this and just like that. Re 
just a really cool way to add background music that you know literally no one else is using because it's ai generated and you're generating it for your own videos so just kind of gives a unique way of you making your own songs for youtube videos that way you're not struggling to find the perfect song um, and you're given a ton of different options so that's really cool and that's tip number three now number four is a bit of a hidden trick slash tip uh that a lot of people don't know is on filmora itself and that is actually their stock footage and stock media folder that literally so many people i feel like waste so much time on different websites like pexels all that stuff finding stock footage now this could be easily resolved and you could save hours of your time over multiple projects by just going on filmora and their library there are so many different things now we got trending right here this is just trending there are literally so many um we got solid color gradients black liquid motion space vertical just so many different things now if we were to just go to like people for example we got people you know watching a video on his phone this guy's like excited about something this business guy a crowd of people walking uh this guy's shocked businessman people in class dude there are so many different options for you to use with this so that is tip and trick number four now lastly tip and trick number five it's not really a trick but this software is actually free to do this trick you literally just just need to go to Filmora's website, download the software for 100% free, and that's all you need to do to start editing professional YouTube videos for 100% free. But yeah, that basically concludes the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Go check out Filmora using the link at the top of the description as well as a pinned comment. If you guys want to see a part two to something like this, make sure to leave a comment down below so I know you guys actually want to see it. I'm not going to make a video that you guys don't want to see. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Peace out.